What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Uh, this is uh, this video is about tips of the week. Um, let's start with uh, tip number one. First thing first, always click on help, check for updates. Uh, every once in a while, you don't have to do it every day. It's supposed to update automatically, but every once in a while, just do it just to make sure uh, you're up to date. So once you do that, um, uh, well, I want to talk about first of all, uh, entering customer information. So we have, uh, we understand that, you know, it's pain to sit and enter customer information. I get this, um, but we have two ways. It's either you can scan the driver license, you can get a, a, a 2D uh, scanner, which is you can get it under uh, products up here, the Zebra, Morolla. You can get the used one if you don't want to spend much money, or you can use the VIP self checking app. Um, there's two ways of doing this. It's either you can mount it or you can put it next to you. You got to get customer information. I keep saying that. You got to get customer information. You get to get the address and the phone number and the email. Those are very, very important because we're going to, we'll still, we haven't done it. We tried it one time. We're still going to be launching campaigns for emails for you. And if you don't have emails, if you don't have the customer information, you really don't have the customer. Customers are very important. Somebody said customers, uh, what, what is this phrase? Uh, uh, what is the customer? I forgot about that phrase. What's that phrase? Custom, uh, customer is always right. That's stupid. Customer is not always right, but customer is very important. There's a big difference here. Without customers, doesn't matter if you have the best uh, service ever. Who cares? Nobody's using it. If you it doesn't matter if you have the best product ever. Who cares? It's never. Nobody's using it. Customers are very important, and what's important about customers is their information for you first, before anyone else, for you. You gotta have their information in case, God forbid, there's a lawsuit. You don't even have his email. That's required from the state anyway. I thought it is required because when you go to the doctor, you get fill up. You gotta fill up your your name, and address, and email, and phone number. And the reason because it's a liability issue. And on and our our repair shops, it's the same thing. There's so many rules, and the reason there are so many rules because it's a liability issue. Uh, you can fix the car, God forbid, something happened to the car and it wasn't your fault. It's a liability issue. The last person was touching the car, it was you. They're going to come after you. So you got to be prepared, you got to be ready. Get the customer friends, use VIP self checking app. Get a, a tablet, a Windows tablet. If you don't want to mount it, just put it next to you. When the customer come in, hand them the tablet, they'll write their information. There's a new update for the tablet that will come in and to make it improve it and make it way more easier than it already is so so yeah just to get the customer information then the second tip i want to talk about um is placing an order which is something we just fixed in the newest uh, generation uh the first thing i somebody told me if you if you have more than six parts and you try to place an order um you cannot you cannot uh, you cannot place an order after you place an order the only place for six parts as you try to place an order again for the rest of the parts It won't let you we just fix that and uh, they should be fixed So just can you click place an order if it's more than six? Uh, just click place an order close it click place an order again And it will let you place an order the second thing that was really really important somebody told me mark uh, I want to place an order, but I only want to order, order, let's say, the alternator, right? I can remove the rest now. I don't have to delete them. I can remove them. So I can remove the rest, and that, that doesn't change anything. I can remove the rest, and I just click place an order. It's going to order the alternator only and close it. If I go back, it, they're still here. So it's going to only order, it's going to only basically remove the one that's already placed in order. So that's fixed too. Let me think what else do I want to talk about? I mean those two are very important subject um, uh, One more thing before I go. I don't know if people know so let's say Let's say I want to I want to decline this People just still don't know what happened when you decline the part um, just click on view quote It's right here if you have multiple stuff in the view quote you don't have to transfer the whole thing you can double click on anything you want 
and it will it will transfer it back so if you go back you can see the alternators right there so if I click on place order the alternator should be there now it's right there the first one so yes so you can do that um, uh, that's it for today um, until next week I want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year but I'm sure I'll make way more videos uh, next week yes <clears throat> one more thing yeah well I already talked about it. make sure you update uh, make sure you update the software because text messaging uh, which we, we switch uh, we have a, now a server just for text messaging uh, to handle all the traffic uh, so we're trying all what we're doing right now is making sure we can handle uh, so many customers and yes we can we can handle so many customers when it comes to cloud we can have so many customers when it comes to local database we can handle so many customers when it comes to text messaging square whatever the, the case is yes we can handle it. our job is continuing uh, making sure that we can scale making sure we buy equipment to match uh, the demand so and we are doing so anyway i appreciate you guys watching until next time uh, thanks for watching